our lesson for today will be looking at physics 1505 we'll be focusing on the question from assignment number 3 2022 mainly question number four let us start this is the actual question without wasting any time let us go to the scenario the scenario says three blocks of masses 10.0 kg 5.0 kg and 3.0 kg are connected by two light strings that pass over frictionless pulley as shown below. The acceleration of the 5.0 kg block is 2.5 meters per second squared to the left and the surfaces are rough. The 10.0 kg block is moving downwards. So we can update the scenario so that we can work on this question. What we know is that this block it accelerates this direction at 2.5 meters per second squared. And then we are sure that this will accelerate this direction. And then the 10.0 kg is accelerating downwards. So since we are dealing with vectors, we can say to the left, we take it as positive, the right as negative. Or we can always say the direction of the system will always be considered as the positive direction. And then the question says, find tension in each string, T1 and T2. I assume the same coefficient for both blocks in contact with the surface. So we know that the coefficient of both of these are the same. So we have T1. T1 is between this 10.0 kg and 5.0 kg blocks. So this T1, we are going to find it using the information of the two blocks. And then looking at T2, we are going to use the information of the 5.0 kg block and the 3.0 kg block. So let us start with the free body diagram of the 10.0 kg block. So we are trying to work on finding our T1. We have our FG this direction and then we have our T1 this direction. These are the only two forces which are doing work to the object. And then another information that we have since this is accelerating this direction at 2.5 meters per second squared you should know that the very same acceleration is experienced by this 10.0 kg block so this is our free boot diagram we have our fg we have our t1 by the way this is the 10.0 kg block then we can work on our T1. F net is equals to M8. This is Newton's second law. And then since we said we consider the downwards, okay, looking at this, we can further add to say a down is positive, up is negative for this block. So we can go ahead and substitute. We have our FG on the positive direction plus negative T1 on the negative direction. So we know that FG is MG. So we can substitute MG minus T1 equals to ma then we can make our t1 the subject of the formula we can double transpose taking this to the other side and take this to this side we are going to have t1 which will be positive equals to mg minus ma so t1 it's equals to the mass is 10.0 kg and then we have our gravitational acceleration is 
and then our mass is still 10.0 and then we have our acceleration on the positive direction so it would be 2.5 and then clicking this on the calculator we find that t1 it's equals to 73 newtons since it is positive then we know that um, oh by the way you don't have to show the direction so we have t1 as 73 newtons then we are left with t2 so let us just use another space so now let us focus on 5.00 kg 5.0 kg block looking at the free body diagram we have T2 this direction we also have our FK since the the surface is rough and then we have T1 this direction then we know that we have our normal force and our gravitational force but since that they are not doing any work to the object we can just leave them out this free body diagram is for the forces which are doing work to the object so this is the free body diagram we have T1 we have T2 and then we have FK from here we can go ahead and substitute to the equation of motion I mean the Newton's second law equation this will be positive this will be negative this will be negative so we have T1 plus negative T2 plus negative FK equals to MA and then we have T1 minus T2 minus FK to give us MA and then we know what is T1 but before we do that we can go ahead and further expand this so we have coefficient um, mg equals to ma then let us substitute we have 73 minus t2 minus coefficient the mass is 5.0 and then we have our 9.8 equals to the mass is 5.0 and then we have our 2.5 and then let us make T2 the subject of the formula. Double transpose the other side. This will come this side. We have T2 is equals to 73 minus coefficient 5.0, 9.8. And then we have negative 5.0 multiplied by 2,5. And then we can just get the solution to this is 73 minus 5.0 multiplied by 2,5 we get our answer as 60.5 minus coefficient I always try to avoid getting decimal numbers but if we check this one we are going to get 49 which is okay coefficient then this can be equation our equation number one then from here we can work on the 3.0 kg block looking at the free body diagram we have our t2 this direction we have our fk this direction and then we also have 
the FG parallel. These are the three forces doing work. So we have T2, FK, and FG parallel. During our team's session, we are going to explain how we came about this FG parallel. You will be more than welcome to ask questions. So let us generate the equation F net, it's equals to MA. And we also have a lesson video whereby we look only at how to generate equations. Then we explain how we have this FG parallel. So we have, this will be in the positive direction, negative, negative. So we have T2 minus FK minus FG parallel equals to MA. T2 minus coefficient m g cos theta. This is fk by the way. Minus mg sin theta. This is fg parallel equals to ma. So we have T2 minus coefficient, the mass is 3.0, we have 9.8, cos, can just quickly look at, our angle is given as 25.0, so you have 25. minus the mass we still have it as 3.0 9.8 sine 25 equals to 3.0 2.5 then from here we can take everything to the other side we can simplify at the same time so we have this negative this but moving to the other side will be positive plus this so we get a, a decimal number so i prefer that we leave it like this and then this one will also be positive when it transposed to the other side and also clicking this to the calculator we get a decimal number so we can just leave it the way it is so we're going to have three comma zero 9.8 cos 25 coefficient and then we have positive 3.0 9.8 sine 25 plus well this one we can we can get a simplified number 29.4 so this will be our equation two both of these equations they equated to t2 so we can simply say um equation two equals to equation one so we take equation two we can just take it from here we have equation 2 equals to equation 1. I know that I'm going to be all be having a challenge with space. So let me just do this. I hope you can see. And then let me remove this part. And simply put an equal sign. 
then I will put my equation 1 here. Let us just look at the equation. Equation 1 is 60.5 minus 49 coefficient. 60.5 minus 49 coefficient. It's 49, not 44. Coefficient. So from here we can look at like terms. This and this one are like terms. So we can just transpose this to the other side. Then we have 60.5 minus 49 point it's actually 49 coefficient minus 3.0 9.8 cos 25 coefficient equals to 29.4 plus 3.0 9.8 sine 25 and actually this it's another like term that is supposed to be the other side so we transpose this it will be negative let me just put it here negative 60.5 and then punching this negative 49 minus 3.0 multiplied by 9.8 cos 25 we have 75.65 coefficient equals 2 and then we get 18.675 let us take 18.675 divide both sides negative 75.65 negative And then we get our coefficient as 0, 0,25. Remember the answer that we are looking for is T2. Since we have the coefficient, we can use any equation and get our T2. If we use this equation, of which it is simplified compared to the other one so we have t2 it's equals to 60.5 minus 49 multiplied by 0 comma 25 we get our t2 as 48 comma 25 newtons so this is our t2 our calculated t1 we got 73 so these are the answers T1 and T2 we are going to have a Microsoft Teams based on this question that's where you will be asking questions where you don't understand that's it for this lesson video this is Wahula SJ thank you very much